uh, to Kumasi where Love, Love News has uh, uncovered an ongoing degradation of the Tano Nimre Forest Reserve at Samraboy in the Western Region, despite the Lands Ministry's declaration that no license has been issued for minerals um, prospecting in any forest reserve across the country. A release issued by the Minerals Commission in August this year and signed by its CEO, Martin AEC, indicated that an application by Akunta Mining Limited for an entry permit into the reserve was yet to be considered. But Love News can confirm large portions of the reserve estimated at about 12 football fields have already been destroyed by mining linked to Akunta Mining Limited. The expose on the current destruction of the Tano Nimre and Apamprama Forest Reserves a part of a documentary by Erastos Asaridonko here, except of destruction for gold. On August 17th this year, the Minerals Commission, in a press release, stated that the Lands Minister has not issued any license for minerals prospecting in any forest reserve. The release signed by Chief Executive Officer of the Commission, Martin Aisi, referred to a letter by Akunta Mining Limited dated August 8, 2022, which was an application for an entry permit to enter the Tano Nimre Forest Reserve at Samraboy in the Western Region. The release said the application must be processed, quote, subject to the Honorable Minister of Lands and Natural Resources Directive on Mining in Forest Reserve. But even before the Lands Ministry would indicate publicly its position on the application, our checks indicate active mining in the Tanonimri Forest Reserve. A visit to the forest revealed large portions of the reserve already mined and degraded. This drone footage, taken few days ago, shows active mining linked to Akunta Mining Limited under the protection of armed personnel. The forest reserve is being destroyed with impunity even at the time of airing this report. We are here at uh, this team, uh, Tontokro. The, the whole duties, and um, there are some policemen and uh, media be here. Despite Love News' expose on military personnel protecting miners in the Odaho section of the Apamprama Forest Reserve, security personnel are still providing protection for miners who are pillaging the reserve currently, as corroborated by the Mentiahene of Bekwai, Nanakusi Frimpong Kotobre. My district is Amansa Central. That is where I have my cuckoo farm. In that area, there's a forest called Kobo Forest. The forest is guarded by soldiers as people mine inside the forest. I had a confrontation with the soldiers. They said they are on duty. What kind of duty is being held in the forest? Ministers and people in government are the ones protecting them. Because I can't hire military men, if I could, I would ask them to accompany me to the farm to weed. Oh, very shocking footage is there. My colleague Erastos Asari Donko, the producer of the documentary, joins me live on Zoom for more on this particular project. Erastos, thanks for joining. Uh, we know that the current policy uh, is that forest reserves are no-go areas. What did you find at the forest reserves that you worked on? All right, so we we'll, would uh, get uh, to my colleague Erasto so that we can deal with this. Meanwhile, Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources says uh, they have begun reclaiming land that have been affected by illegal mining in five regions in Ghana. According to the coordinator of the National Alternative Employment and Livelihood Program for Illegal Miners, Dr. Louise Carroll Sewa Donko, they have uh, so far raised 20 million seedlings to that effect. And their contractors are currently working on various sites to get those lands 
into states that will be able to support plant life. She was speaking exclusively to Joy News after a strategic interaction between the media and the Ministry of Land and Natural Resources on measures to eradicate the menace of illegal mining in Ghana. Our focus is on land reclamation and reforestation or revegetation. So there are about 1,000 hectares of lands that um, we are reclaiming. See, when it comes to reclaiming lands, our focus is on how we get our water bodies clean. So the portions or the parts that we have focused to reclaim is really about, you know, uh, water beds or, you know, where water have their sources. Uh -huh. So you go to uh, Eastern Region, we've gone to Boako South, uh, we've gone to um, Inswaim, you know, uh, in the Ashanti region, we've gone to Western North, you know. So we are working in five you know, mining regions, and we've picked districts in all these regions where um, the issue is quite endemic to be able to bring the intervention to them. So our focus now is on land reclamation and re vegetation. Uh, we actually raised 20 million seedlings for Green Ghana Day. Part of it, you know, went into uh, securing our water beds. Some of it, you know, went into uh, revegetating, um, you know, destroyed forests and reserves and you know vegetation so if i go to the field now what would i see you doing in all of the places you've mentioned well you see us raising seedlings and then you see us reclaiming lands um, now our landscape study is underway to be able to understand you know the galamseas better uh, what is very important is that we need to listen to the people that we're trying to you know get interventions for yes we have ideas about what we want to do but we need to be able to also understand that. um i think one thing that runs through the places that we were claiming if you go to a Boakosa, for instance and then with some Frejo, they are mountainous regions you know and we all know that mining anywhere near a river or a water body or a source to a water body is, is a no-go area and that's where our focus is and that's where when you go you'll find our contractors working to you know re-engineer the land and bring it back to uh, a state that can support vegetation and redirect our water bodies. Now to other stories and public health actors are bemoaning the lack of funds to fight and promote issues of environmental health in the country. According to them, the absence of a centralized ministry responsible for public health makes it difficult to access funds. Uh, before we bring you details of the story, let's uh, return to Kumasi and speak to uh, my colleague Erastos Asaradonko, who has worked on distraction for gold. Erastos, uh, we understand that the current po policy is that forest reserves are no-go areas for mining purposes. What did you find in these forests that you worked on? Well, um, the uh, link went away briefly. Uh, if you could repeat your question. Okay, so, so I'm trying to find out from you what you found when you went to this forest. Okay, so we know that the uh, Tamo Nimri Forest Reserve um, in the western region is out of bounds uh, per our current uh, dispensation that um, is not open to mining. In fact, all forest reserves, according to uh, government's directive. Um, when this issue came up recently, there was a release by the uh, Minerals Commission, in fact, indicating that the minister has not given any license to anybody to mine in that forest. Now, when we went into the reserve, we realized that already um, the forest has been degraded to a large extent. In fact, we could, um, when we flew our drone, we could just uh, see devastation of up to about 10, uh, 12 football fields and beyond. Uh, devastated and still counting. And even as we speak, we have more Chinese miners joining the degradation oh. as we speak. And when you go in there, you see uh, that the place is fortified with armed personnel, armed to the teeth. And in fact, <laughs> um, we had to uh, put in a lot of strategies to be able to uh, enter and to be able to film uh, what you're seeing on your screens right now. And so 
uh, the forest is being degraded. It's a reserve. It's being degraded. Uh, we found signs that, that indicate that the destruction is linked to a quantum mining, uh, which is owned by Chemaun to me, who is the uh, current chairman of the uh, NPP in the Shanti region. And the degradation is still ongoing as we speak. Very shocking footage is there. But uh, you went in with officers. What happened? Were, were they sacked from their place? You say that they are still mining as we speak. Why that? Well, we did not go in there with officers. Uh, we went on our own, my camera team and I. Uh, we visited a, a quite a number of places. And uh, this, is, this was for our documentary, Destruction uh, for Gold, which is coming up shortly uh, 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 next week. It will be aired. And so we're trying to gauge the devastation of illegal mining um, even when government has instituted Operation Halt and other measures to try to uh, curb it, we're trying to gauge the destruction on the ground. And this was part of our uh, uh, tour of the entire country in areas affected by illegal mining. And we were quite particular about uh, Nimri Forest, Tunnel Nimri Forest, because uh, it came out and the minister denied it that it has not granted a contaminant permit, entry permit into the forest. And it was part of the uh, release that was given out by the Minerals Commission. And so we wanted to check that, okay, if the government says it has not granted entry permit into that forest reserve, what is happening there? And to our, to our shock and, and dismay, in fact, even as uh, the minister, even before the minister could grant that entry permit, the forest has been eaten, and it continues to be eaten even until today. As we speak, there are miners in there actively, busily, destroying the forest with impunity. So these military men we see in the footages, what's their role there? Well, the ones you see in the footages was from our earlier um, visit to Apamprama Forest Reserve, which is in the uh, Manso area, mm. uh, Amansia Central. And if you realize that it came up at that time mm. that over 30 fully armed uh, military personnel were protecting okay. the miner in the mm. forest. And uh, they were pillaging the forest. And, mm. and even with that one, uh, when the military said it was going to investigate, until mm. now, we've not gotten to know the results of that investigation. Mm. But I can confirm to you that there are military men or men dressed in military clothes, armed to the teeth, mm. in the same forest, pillaging it as we speak. Mm. Interesting. Uh, what should we expect in the full documentary when it aired? In fact, a lot of uh, revelations on the ground. We wanted to gauge the mood on the ground. Is mm. government uh, intervention in fighting illegal mining is it working? Mm. Uh, how polluted our rivers, how devastated our lands? Uh, so you'll be seeing more of these devastations. You'll be also be uh, uh, hearing uh, from people who are directly affected uh, mm. by illegal mining. Okay. All right. That's us. Thank you very much.